everyone, and welcome to another Walk of Fame ceremony brought to you by the Hollywood Historic Trust and the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Today, we will recognize a woman who is considered one of America's true national treasures. She is a star both in the public's eye and in the hearts of those who know her. This morning, we will implant a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for Patricia Neal. Yes, yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Patricia Neal grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee, and studied, uh, all you rebels out there, let me hear the call. All you Southern folks. All right, I put my plantation clothes on today. Where's my hat? I got a hat right there, yeah. Uh, and studied drama at Northwestern University. After moving to New York, she earned her first job on Broadway in The Voice of the Turtle. After only two and a half months of pounding the pavement, now that's some kind of record. She went on to star in many Broadway plays, and in 1947, the first time that Broadway's Tony Awards were presented, she garnered the Best Supporting Actress Award for her role in Another Part of the Forest. She is also remembered, now if I mention something you particularly like, if I push a buzz button, you go ahead and scream and yell because I believe this next one will do it. She is also remembered for her landmark stage performance in The Miracle Worker. Pat is a double Oscar nominee and Best Actress winner for HUD. She has received a Golden Globe Award and has been nominated three times for the Emmy. Please welcome Mr. Robert Osborne, right here. Anyway, uh, it's a great honor to be here today. Who knew Patricia Neal did not have a star already on Hollywood Boulevard? We knew she was a great star when we saw The Fountainhead in 1949. We knew she was a great star on Broadway with that Tony Award at the first ceremony. We knew she was great in movies like Breakfast at Tiffany's, A Face in the Crowd, Breaking Point, all the others. We knew about the Academy Award for HUD, the other Oscar nominations, but no star on Hollywood Boulevard. But today that's all being rectified, and that's wonderful because she's a, a great actress, a great lady. She is full of adventure. She is out there living her life, a full life. And she is, as they used to say, full of beans still, always up to something. The reason why this is really terribly important, though I think, that she have a star on Hollywood Boulevard is because, as Johnny pointed out, her life in many aspects reads like a Greek tragedy that only somebody like Eugene O'Neill could ever capture. So many horrible things happen to her in Twists of Fate, but she is first and foremost an actress. That's her legacy. That's what she wants to be known as. And so this star is down here, Pat, not because you're a great survivor, not because you were a victim, but because you're a great actress. I know Kitty Carlisle is here. Kitty Carlisle is right back. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I tell you, that's bringing... That's bringing a part of a new, that's bringing a New York treasure to Hollywood today, and we like that. We got another New York treasure, too. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cliff Robertson right here. Where is he? Where is he? Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. It's great to be here, and I am delighted to be a part of this celebration for my dear friend, Patricia Neal. This award to her is a little late. She really walked on the stage, and from the time she walked on her stage in The Voice of the Turtle, she's embraced our hearts. So we're all happy that finally Hollywood has recognized a great actress, a great human being, and in my case, I'm very lucky to call her a great friend. Bless you all. Thank you for coming. This is not a Nazi hat. It's from Finland. Ladies and gentlemen, Margaret O'Brien. Oh, Margaret, did you see that? I'm so happy to be here today. Uh, this star is long overdue. Patricia Neal is my very favorite actress. 
She's one of the really great actresses of all time. And it's my honor to know her because she's also a wonderful person too. And I'm just thrilled to be here today. Thank you. Now, therefore, be it resolved that by the adoption of this resolution, the City Council, along with the Mayor of the City of Los Angeles, do hereby congratulate Patricia Neal on this well-deserved honor of receiving her star on the world-famous Hollywood Walk of Fame. So there you have that. And as the Mayor of Hollywood, I hereby proclaim this Patricia Neal Day in Hollywood. I'll just leave. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, darling. <clears throat> Glorious Hollywood. I first came to Hollywood nearly 60 years ago, and I've never lost my affection for this great town. It's still a magical place, a city of dreams, I am thrilled to be honored with a star here today. I am flattered by how many people have commented to me that they could not believe I did not have a star many years ago. But if there's one thing I have learned in my life, it is patience. <laughs> An enduring belief that things of quality have no fear of time. <laughs> In this last year, the most exciting new parts I have received have been a new shoulder and a new knee. <laughs> and they are working divinely. They make it possible for me to go on. I will continue to be an actress for as long as I can stand up. And when I can no longer stand, I will take part sitting down or lying down. <laughs> I will go on until I join the other stars here in the pavement, uh, not here in the pavement of Hollywood, but in God's heaven above. I thank you all for this great honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Miss Patricia Neal. It took us so long to get you out here uh, to do this ceremony. Uh, we want you to remember us. And we know you're busy, and we want you to have a replica of the star to take with. Miss Neal, right ahead of us. Miss Neal. Miss Hart, Miss O'Brien, could you join Miss Neal for a picture, ladies? And Eli Wallach. Mr. Wallach. Okay. Mr. Wallach? Perfect. Perfect. Eli. Okay. 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 Okay.